Hi, my name is John Maxwell. I'm glad you're with me today on Minute with Maxwell, and I would like to talk to you on the principle of communication. Uh, what does it mean to communicate with someone? Now, what we do every day, I do this, you do this, we, we talk, we talk all day. I talk to people, talk to ourselves, but, but we spend the day talking. I don't know how many words a day, but hundreds and hundreds, thousands probably of words that we talk, but, but we talk all day. I've always been interested about the fact that we do something so much, but sometimes we don't really get good at it. In other words, uh, we just talk. And there's a difference between just talking and, and communicating. Uh, the word communis is a word that basically means find common ground, find community that, that, that allows us to, to be together. And I would like to talk to you about that common ground of communication, that ability to, to find a place where there you are with other people and you are on the same ground, on the same page, and you're truly connecting. And I've asked myself, why do so many people talk and so few connect? And I've come to the conclusion that it just takes energy and effort to connect. Uh, connection is all about you. If I'm going to connect with you, I've got to find out where you are and what you're interested in. And I've got to go to your place. I've got to make that effort. And I think a lot of people, they just don't want to make the effort, not realizing the rewards that come from connecting with people. You see, once you connect with a person, there is a relational, emotional connection that is more than words. In fact, it's what bonds people together. It's what gets people to give you that extra effort. It's what increases the energy level of the relationship itself. It's one thing to have a conversation. It's entirely different to connect. And so when I'm in a group or with a group and there's a lot of talking going on, I'm always looking at them and asking myself the question, who's connecting, who isn't, why are they or why are they not? And I just want you to know that you need to be intentional you have to want to connect with the person, and you have to give energy. You have to put forth the effort to connect with the person. And thirdly, you've got to understand that it's in their world that they live. And because they live in their world and not yours, all the major transformation that's going to happen will happen from their perspective, not yours. And so, therefore, it's not near as important for me to tell you what I know as it is for me to know what you know. Because the moment that I know where you are and who you are and what you love, that's the moment that all conversation begins to take a whole new form of energy and life in it. Is it not true? When you finish a conversation with some people, it's all about them, and they walk away and they're very fulfilled because it was all about them. And then there's some conversations you have. You realize that you intentionally poured into their life. And it's not only about them, but it's about them becoming a better person, improving, getting better in their life, going further. My desire is to always connect with a purpose. In fact, I stay with it until I do connect with a purpose. I hope that you'll now begin to look at communication at an entirely different level. It's not that you said something, but it's that you said something that made an impact, that made a difference. Most conversations are forgettable in the next minute. When you connect, you may even forget what they say, but you will not forget how you feel. John Maxwell here. Glad you're with me on Minute with Maxwell.